Hey guys, Brian Brewer here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Facebook retargeting for your affiliate marketing campaigns. That way you can increase conversions uh, on the traffic that you're driving, hopefully helping you make more commissions. Now, I'm gonna show you a specific example for uh, promoting Legendary Marketer that I'm using right now because this is the Becoming Legendary channel, and the whole purpose of this channel is to help you make more money with Legendary Marketer and other high-ticket affiliate programs. But the bottom line is this strategy that I'm gonna show you, it'll work for pretty much any affiliate program and, and really pretty much any offer. Now, what I'm gonna show you is not an advanced advertising strategy. It's a beginner-friendly strategy. It's super simple to set up and it's kind of a no-brainer here. Now, the benefit of this is basically you're just going to retarget people who have already shown interest in your affiliate product. And this is all gonna make sense when I take you inside the computer and show you the exact step-by-step -step process. Now this is a no-brainer because I'm only running this as $5 a day. I don't even have to track the metrics. I know it's making me money. And really, you know, it helps keep you present in, in the minds of the people who have, have already shown interest. So the ad I I'm gonna show you, it's very super simple. I just basically invite them back to check out the offer again. Uh, I basically run this ad to anybody who's visited my website in the last 30 days, and I just continuously let this run. I just set it, forget it, it spends its $5 a day, it reaches people, and uh, well, let's just get right into it here. So if we're inside the ads dashboard, uh, the first thing you're gonna have to do is actually install your Facebook pixel on your website. Uh, now, it's pretty simple to do. The first thing you have to do is, is find this business tools section and really what you wanna go to is you wanna go over to the events manager. And when you click on that button, it's gonna take you to a page that looks something like this. Make sure uh, if you have multiple accounts, you have the proper account selected here. Now keep in mind this Facebook ads dashboard, I swear to goodness, it, it looks different every time I sign in, uh, but everything is pretty much the same. So if it doesn't look exactly like this, don't worry. You just have to look around or Google or something or figure out where everything is. Uh, as of right now, one way you can find your pixel is by going to the add events section, uh, click on from a new website and then just manually install the pixel code uh, to your website. It's gonna pop up this box right here. Just copy that code. Uh, then you can install it into your website. Now, once the pixel is on your website, then Facebook can actually track the vi visitors. So this is gonna help you retarget them. Basically serve ads to people who have already visited your website. Now I use ClickFunnels to build my website. Uh, so the way you would install uh, the pixel on a funnel or a website with ClickFunnels is go to the actual funnel or website that, that you want to install the pixel on. You go over to the settings tab here and if you scroll down, uh, there's going to be a section called the head tracking code. Just paste your Facebook pixel uh, right into that code. Uh, once that's done, now Facebook can track visitors. It can see what pages they go to and what pages they don't go to. Uh, it can track conversions if you're actually selling something on your website, which is not the case with affiliate marketing. Uh, but it can then build a list of people who visited your website. So once again, we can retarget them. Uh, after that's uh, installed, you can actually test it to make sure everything is installed properly. One of the easiest ways to do that is by downloading this Facebook Pixel Helper. Uh, it's a Chrome extension that's free. Just Google Facebook Pixel Helper and it'll install that little box right there. Uh, then if you actually preview your website, uh, if everything's working correctly, it's going to light up and it's gonna show you uh, that your pixel is installed. And if it's not installed correctly, this box will actually stay uh, gray. Okay, so now that that, pix that pixel is installed, what, what I want to do is I want to actually build out my custom list. So this is uh, this website for to promote Legendary Marketer is on my 15daychallenge.com. Now each individual page is going to have a different extension on it, but but every page on this website is going to have at least you know my 15daychallenge.com in the URL. So what I want to do is I want to actually build an audience of people who who hit my website. Uh, so I can retarget them with ads. So the way to do that is once again, you go to this business tools section here and you wanna go over to the audiences tab. Once again, make sure you're in the right account if you have more than one account. Uh, so the way I would do this is I would create an audience and I would create a custom audience. It's gonna pop up a box here. Did I hit it? Yep. And basically what it's asking is it's asking uh, to, to cite your source. Where is this, this audience? Where's this gonna come from? So you can either upload a customer list and, and re-advertise to them, or you can just choose website. That's what we wanna do. We wanna create an audience 
uh, based on people who have actually hit our website. Uh, so basically include people who meet any of the following criteria. Make sure you have the right pixel selected. And basically we want people who visit specific web pages, okay? Now we'll get to the URL in just a second, but here's where you set the time frame. So, so basically you want to retarget people who have hit your website recently. Now, right now I'm uh, retargeting people who have visited my website within the last 30 days. Uh, you can shorten that up a little bit, maybe like only do two weeks if you don't wanna keep sending ads to people over and over and over again. Uh, you could extend it if you want to keep serving ads to people 60 or 90 days after um, they hit your website. But I find 30 days to be, you know, a pretty good a pretty good place to start. And then just see, maybe you'll want to, um, if, you're, if you're annoying people, maybe you want to shorten it to 14 days. Um, you know, who knows? 30 days is a good place to start. That means anytime someone hits my website, we can re-advertise to them for the next 30 days, or we will. And then what I'll do down in this URL section is I'll just uh, make sure that this says contains, not equals, but contains. And then I'll just go ahead and paste, whoops. I'll just go ahead and put my 15daychallenge.com in that section right there. So basically what that means is that'll say anybody who's visited my website in uh, the last 15 days will be pixeled. They'll be put into this custom audience. Uh, because any page they visit on my website is going to have my 15daychallenge.com in it. It'll have other things in it as well, but at the very least, I'll have that in there. And then I'll just name this audience something like visited 15 day challenge. And then I always put the time frame in there 30 days because I might experiment with 30 days and 14 days and seven days and so on and so forth. Uh, and then I'll just create the audience. Now I'm not going to create this audience because I already have it, but now I can run ads to this audience here. Um, now, let's talk about where I'm going to send these uh, ads to uh, because this is affiliate marketing. So once again, anytime someone hits my website, they're going to opt into my list, I'm gonna pixel them, and then they're going to be taken over to a bridge page, and eventually I'm going to send them with my affiliate link over to a page that looks like this. So this is the video sales page for Legendary Marketers. So this is no longer on my website. This is their website with my affiliate ID in there. So on this page, there's gonna be a video sales letter and an opportunity to get started. Uh, of course, all the bonuses and everything they get when they join. So this is where I'm sending people initially. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna retarget people and send them back to this video sales letter because this video sales letter is what's doing the, the selling for me, right? This is what, what hypes up the opportunity and, and, and presents the opportunity. So what I did is I don't wanna just send people directly to this with my affiliate link because I don't, wanna, I don't want uh, Facebook to, to ban my account. Uh, they might anyways, but I wanna do everything I possibly can to avoid that. Uh, so what I did is I actually created a page that um, in my funnel, and I called it the Legendary Marketer Offer. And so basically this is a page on my website that looks almost identical to, to the sales page that we're going to send people. So what I do here is you can see this, this is just exactly modeled after their video sales page, but it's on my website, right? This is on my15daychallenge.com. It's not because it's a preview, but I'll just show you. If I copy this URL and I paste this in there, you're gonna see it's gonna be this exact same page that looks almost identical to their video sales page, but it's on my15daychallenge.com. So that's the actual page that I'm going to link to with my retargeting ads from Facebook. And I'm just gonna keep hitting them and hitting them and hitting them again so they can see this video sales letter. And then now if they click start at this time, instead of sending them over to a video sales letter like I did initially, this is gonna send them directly to the checkout with my affiliate link in it, of course, right? So that way the, you, they can go straight to purchase. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and open this in a new tab here for you because I'm logged in under that, uh, in that browser so it won't work. But if I send people to this page, uh, you know, with the Facebook retargeting, they're gonna watch this video, they're gonna click play, the video is actually embedded in there. They're gonna be like, okay, cool, this is great, good opportunity. I wanna get started. So they click on the get started and you can see it takes them directly over to the Legendary Marketer checkout page. And if they buy, that's when I'm gonna earn the commission. 
Um, so the ad itself, very simple, uh, very simple to create, right? We already have that, that audience in there. Uh, so what we want to do is go over to our ads manager. Oh, geez, I'm lost now. Go over to the ads manager. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure I select the, uh, the right account here. Let's see here. Cool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create an ad. Right, this is the ads dashboard. You have one if you have a Facebook account. Uh, you don't need to have multiples uh, like I do. Uh, so basically what I'm gonna do at this point is I wanna choose a campaign objective and I wanna do one of two things. I either want uh, traffic, basically people clicking over to my website, or I want reach, basically. I want to show my ads to as many people as possible, right? Again and again and again. Because when people hit my website, they've already shown um, intent, right? And I'll, and I'll talk about how I get traffic to the website initially in just a second. Um, so I'll just, let's just, let's just do a, a traffic ad here. We're going to continue. Uh, we'll go ahead and, and build out our entire ad. Um, but basically what we want to talk about is when we get to the ad set section here, um, you know, I don't, don't want to do a whole Facebook ad tutorial here. I'm sure there's better ones out there than, than me. Uh, but basically what we want to do is we want to use a custom audience in the ad set. And basically what we want to do is people who visited uh, the website and let's see, I don't know what I called it. Yeah, so visit 15 day challenge in the last 30 days. Now what I'm telling Facebook is I want to serve ads to those people, people who've basically been pixeled. They're in that custom audience, which is people who have visited this website, 15 day challenge website in the last 30 days, okay? Now this works extremely well because um, all the traffic that hits my initial page, right? My 15daychallenge.com is the initial page. This is the home page. This is the email capture page, uh, right? This is where I send all the traffic. I, I collect the email. I send them to a bridge page. And then after they watch my bridge page video, they're gonna go ahead and click over to the legendary marketer sales letter. So that first page, that home page, that, that email capture page, all of that traffic comes there organically, either YouTube videos or TikTok or whatever, wherever I'm creating content and driving the traffic to. It could be a Facebook group, whatever. So the bottom line is, is these are already people who know me, uh, maybe like me, potentially trust me, uh, and those are the only people I'm advertising to. So they, they know me and they have already shown interest in legendary marketer and high ticket affiliate marketing because they initially went over to my homepage website, right? So that means that I don't have to worry. I know that I can affordably, efficiently, effectively advertise to this custom audience because so many things are already going in my favor. This is unlike cold traffic where you got to test and tweak. So basically I can just let those $5 a day ads run for eternity and, and I know they're going to be profitable. You really can't screw it up. Now here's the thing though, you have to have enough initial visitors uh, for, in order to this, uh, for this to work. And you can't be tempted to like increase your, your profits by increasing, um, your budget. Like I can't just raise that budget from $5 a day to, to $15 a day to $30 a day and, and triple my money. It just doesn't work like that. Uh, because the custom audience itself is only going to be, uh, people who have already hit your site organically. So while it's super profitable, um, and just a no brainer opportunity to increase your omnipresence, uh, it, Increasing your budget is, is not going to, to help you scale. So just keep it at $5 a day. Uh, and if you're driving a lot of traffic organically, maybe raise it to 10 or so on and so forth. One way you can check that uh, will be my final thought here is if you look at um, the ads here. And we'll go ahead and select um, this, this particular ad that I'm running for Legendary Marketer. It's this one right here. And if we actually, let me go to the ad set. That way I can get rid of all that other stuff and make this... Uh, super clear um this one right here cool and then if we go over to that ad what you can do here is if you go um, look at this metric right here the frequency metric and like if we look at the last 30 days so you can see that my frequency metric over the last 30 days is 9.87 that means on average the the um 
uh, people are seeing this ad 9.87 times, so just about 10 times in the last 30 days. Uh, if this frequency is one, that means people on average are seeing this one time. If this frequency is 20, that means people on average are seeing this 20 times. So basically what I want to do is I want to keep this somewhere between um, you know seven and 10. Um, if, if it dropped to the point where the frequency is like at three and people are only seeing this ad like three times, well, then I want to increase my budget. And I'm probably not going to decrease my budget lower than $5. But if, if this frequency drops to below seven, basically, um, then, then I'm going to increase my budget because people aren't seeing the ad enough. Hope that makes sense. Hope that's helpful. Bottom line, this is how I use um, retargeting uh, for my advertising campaigns and legendary marketers. Specifically, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and leave them in the description below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Uh, like this video if it was awesome. And uh, if you haven't gotten started with Legendary Marketer yet, it's a great, uh, great program. Go over to my15daychallenge.com. Uh, watch a quick video. Uh, get signed up. Join their Business Builder Challenge, and you'll be on your way towards earning high-ticket affiliate marketing commissions. Have a great day.